How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are going to be calculating the favicon hash of websites to use on Shodan. Now this is going to be a pretty short video. It's kind of a follow-up to my talk that I gave at DC9111 uh, as far as calculating the hash value of favicons on websites to do corporate reconnaissance. Holy shit, that was a lot. So anyways, if you watched that video, which I will put a link to up here, I gave a 36 minute talk on corporate recon. Go ahead and check that out. I talk about Shodan in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. So this is what the little script is called, or not called, but this is what the script is. It's very simple. Uh, it's basically pulling the favicon.ico file. It's encoding it in base64 and it's generating an MMA, MMH3 hash, I'm assuming, and it's printing it out. So we're gonna go ahead and the first thing that you need to make sure that you have is pip2. I have not tried this on Python 3 and I'm not going to attempt to make this work on Python 3. So with that, we will go ahead and just make a file. I just named it favicon.py. I copied everything in there. And the next step is to put in the favicon path or pathway that you want to calculate. So uh, this is the University of Washington's website. And what you're going to have to do is op open up inspect element. And if you go to search HTML, most of the time you're going to be able to type in favicon and it will link you and highlight the part that has the favicon. In this case, it says place favicon.ico in the root directory. So I already know where it's at, but it will be highlighted in there somewhere. And I will show you an example of what that would look like. This is like Siemens website. If I wanted to find their favicon, I would do the same thing, inspect element, and then search HTML. I'm just gonna type in favicon. And right there is the link to it. So I'm going to copy that and then in the URL up there, I'm going to take away everything. So it's just going to be like new.siemens.com, paste that in. There's the favicon. So that is going to be the URL you put into there. But in the case of University of Washington, it's in the root folder. So it's just washington.edu slash favicon.ico. Go ahead and save this file. And then all you're going to type in is python favicon.py. And then there's the hash right there. We're gonna go ahead and save that. And then go to Shodan and type in http.favicon.hash colon, and then you're going to put in that favicon value with the minus, if there is a minus in there, and hit enter. And then there you go. You get results uh, of various IPs uh, that are using that favicon hash. Now, the reason why this is kind of valuable is because I talk about using autonomous system or searching via autonomous system numbers for, for like recon and all that. But the autonomous system numbers are more than likely going to be an IP space that the university owns or whatever corporation you're searching on owns. It's not going to include other things in here that we see such as amazon.com, colo5, Am or uh, Microsoft Azure, etc. So we got more devices that we can search outside of their autonomous system numbers. But every single one of these uh, IP addresses have that favicon in HTML somewhere. So just that's what I use it for. So anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoy content like this, please leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share this with all of your friends. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. I just passed 1500 subscribers and I still owe someone a Raspberry Pi 4. I think it's a four. Anyways, that's it for this video. Y'all take care. Yeah.